Today's Your Daily Prayer devotional is sponsored by the David Caleb Cook Foundation. If our podcast has been a blessing in your life, would you consider helping us get Bibles to children in Muslim countries? Go to davidcalebcook.org backslash daily prayer to donate. Your gift will help send God's Word to children around the world. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for Grieving at Christmas Written by Dina Johnson and read by Kelly Gibbons The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 10.10 10. I spent the last eight months doing everything I can to keep my faith strong, to trust God. But this week, I am losing the battle. I am collapsing under the weight of this year. The last few days, I find myself simply falling apart. I can't hold back the tears another moment. I can't put a smile on my face and pretend I'm doing just fine. I can't hold the grief in that is filling every inch of my being. Perhaps you understand. Perhaps you too feel as if this year has been a nightmare, destroying your peace and security. Perhaps you feel as if your very life is crumbling, collapsing. Perhaps you can no longer hold in the tears, no longer pretend everything is just fine. If you are consumed by grief this Christmas, you are not alone. Can we just take a moment to pray? Lord Jesus, I am so overwhelmed. My heart is heavy, burdened. The losses this year are crushing me, overcoming my peace and joy. I know you tell us you are close to the brokenhearted, but I don't feel you. I feel lost, hopeless, abandoned. I know this is a season, a season that has a beginning and an end, but right now it feels like it will never end. I need hope, hope to believe you will truly restore me, strengthen me. I need hope to believe you will one day have me put together and on my feet for good. I need a vision of the future you have for me, a future hope and blessings from you. It's so easy to become distracted, to focus on the many losses I have experienced. Forgive me. Help me to put my thoughts, my attention on you. Help me to cling to you, to your word, to your promises. Help me be fixed on you because I know it's the only way to enjoy your perfect peace. As I walk through this holiday season, give me a fresh glimpse of who you are. Help me remember the suffering you experienced as you watched your son on the cross, a gift given just for me. Help me remember with joy and wonder the amazing gifts we have simply because you gave, a precious baby born that Christmas morning. Help me focus my heart and mind on Emmanuel, God with me. You are my hope, my only hope, for Christmas and every day on this earth. May I always carry your hope with me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Did you know that children between the ages of 4 and 14 are four times more likely to accept Christ than they will be as adults? And that need to share the gospel and the love of Jesus with precious children is even greater in the Muslim world, where many never hear about Christ's love for them. You can help lead children in Muslim countries to Jesus by sending them a Bible through the David Caleb Cook Foundation. Your gift will send a colorful, comic-style action Bible that connects with kids so they can know the hope of Jesus. So please, give your best gift today at davidcalebcook.org backslash daily prayer and watch as God transforms these children to transform their world.